These are my top three picks out of all the newest listings in Whistler this week. I've got a three bedroom plus loft townhome just south of Whistler Creekside, perched on a cliff overlooking Alpha Lake. A stunning modern newly constructed home with gorgeous landscaping and an outdoor pool in Whistler K Heights and a ski and ski out three bedroom townhome on the slopes of Black Home at Arrowhead Point. These properties just hit the Whistler real estate market and today we're going room by room and I'll show you what makes each one worthy of my top three list for this week. Hey guys, welcome to this week's top three listings in Whistler. Now out of the 19 new listings that just came on the market in the past seven days, I picked out three. These are the three highlights, okay? So the first one is actually my listing. This one is number 74 at Twin Lakes. Now this is a townhouse that's three bedrooms plus loft, two baths. These were built in around 1991. This is 1,448 square feet. There's also an additional 410 square feet that's unauthorized, so it's not on the strata plan, but it's down in the basement, which is a really cool sort of a rec room with a tiki bar. So I'll, I'll show you that as well. Uh, number 74 Twin Lakes here. Now the cool thing about Twin Lakes is that um, there are some units, and these are the ones that or overlooking the lake. So you can see here through the windows of the living room, this is a sunken living room, a really nice wood fireplace here, um, but it overlooks Alpha Lake, okay? So it's perched on the top of a cliff overlooking the water. Now there's no access here from the unit down to the water, but this complex does have a dock and a beach and uh, it's just wonderful in the summertime. And there's also a pool and um, tennis courts in this complex and the pool is open in the summer only okay so this is a unit here you come in the main door so there's a mud room right here take off all your wet gear your ski gear all that stuff and this is the kitchen right off of that and a dining area then you can step down to this zone here which is sort of a sunken living room now there's a really cool spot here i'll show you in the photos here in a minute you they've got this hatch sort of uh built where you can lift it up and downstairs you've got um uh there's a ping pong table room and a tiki bar and i'll show that I'll show you that in a minute it's really cool and upstairs up these stairs right here you've got uh the three bedrooms and then you've got a loft on the on the level above even that okay so I'll just click you through the photos here real quick and we've got video running as well and you can see the lake in the distance you can also see so here's alpha lake alpha lake park be off in the distance down here and i'm not sure if you can quite see from these photos but there's um there's also a view of Whistler Creek side. So there's a kitchen, uh, basically original condition. I'm told actually that these pink tiles are very much back in vogue. And apparently um, this year's Pantone color of the year is fuzzy peach, which is exactly this color. So it's back in style. Um, this has got new carpeting and it's got new laminate flooring in the kitchen and uh, the mudroom. And then we'll take you upstairs and take a look around. Uh, there's that mudroom. Uh, and this is the primary bedroom, so the uh, main master bedroom. You've got your own ensuite off of that with a uh, jetted tub. And then you've got two additional bedrooms on this level. And a bathroom, of course, and laundry. And then on the very top level, you've got uh, a lofted area. So you've got tons more sleeping space. And I've seen people in other units use this as bunks. So you can put uh, bunk beds in here too. And then there's also on each side of this room, there's a hatch that goes into the attic here. So you've got some space to uh, throw some additional uh, storage items. Now this is the lowest level. And this is a ping pong table room. You've got actual extra area to, to sleep here. If you want, you can fold up the ping pong table and, and you can sleep down here. And then uh, this is the piece de resistance, which is the, uh, um, the tiki bar. So as you come down the stairs from the living room here, some steep stairs with a handle to hold on. And uh, the owner is, uh, is a really funny guy and uh, they have uh, built a tiki bar in this little zone here. So it's all lit. Um, you've got a bar here, you've got some seating area. There's a puffer fish lamp with some chairs. Uh, it's just really funky. So I thought, uh, I thought I'd show you that. Okay, so now let's move off of Twin Lakes. Oh, location of Twin Lakes. Twin Lakes is just south of Whistler Creekside. They also have their own shuttle bus. So uh, you can just hop on the Twin Lakes shuttle bus to take you right to uh, the Creekside gondola or get picked up. Okay, 
Now, let's move on. Now, this is a listing from Maggie Thornhill with Engel and Volker's Real Estate. This is actually an amazing house. Uh, it was built in 2019 by CVC Custom Builders, which is a, a renowned builder here in Whistler. And then it's also uh, the architect on this house was Dennis McGuire. Okay. This is in uh, Whistler K Heights. So it's the neighborhood that's right at the lights at Whistler Village, and it's just right across the highway there. So very, very close, easy to walk. Um, the designer, interior designer, was Kelly Deck on this one. Okay, so this is 3,500 square feet. Price is 8.8 .8 million. Okay, and as I said, built in 19, uh, sorry, 2019 through to 2021, and then all the landscaping was done over the past two summers, 2022 to 2023. So really, really cool house. Love this. Uh, it was built from the ground up, so there was a home on this location that they tore down. And uh, they built this up from the bedrock up. So heated driveway, of course. Who doesn't need a heated driveway? Um, and then you can see here, it's very, it's a contemporary home, but it still uh, kind of has that sort of a vibe that, you know, makes it fit in with Worcester K Heights for sure. So you do have a pool here off the side and uh, fencing all around. Really, really nicely done. And some green space too. So let's go on inside and have a look. Um, just, I love, love this house. Wide open spaces, minimalist design, very modern. Um, this is the entry just as you're uh, coming in and uh, you've got seating here as you come in and you've got the wide open living room. And then if you turn around here, you've got a uh, step up to the, um, uh, to the kitchen in the back there. So you can just see that right here. So kitchen, dining, and then wide open space to go upstairs. So really loving the spaces on this house. Now, um, this is going to be on our realtor tour next week. So I actually have not been inside this house. I will probably be in this one next week. Kitchen, tons and tons of space. Really, really cool aesthetic on this house. So I'll just take you through the photos real quick and then we can move on. Big wide open uh, Nana wall here, which has got these doors that open right up to a uh, large deck off the... Um, off this media room and then uh, bathrooms upstairs here this is the master okay or as we call nowadays the primary and there's a primary bath and office so wonderful wonderful home we'll just keep going through the photos here you can always go down and click through and take a look at the link in the description below it'll just to in your own time go through the photos yourself Okay, so mudroom, all the toys in the garage, and there's that pool and outdoor space that was created just in the past couple of years. So wonderful, wonderful home. Love this one. And we'll take you on to the next. So our final one is, uh, this is Lisa Johnson Stott from Stillhaven Real Estate Services. Uh, she has got a three bedroom, two bath listed for sale for $2,569,000 at Arrowhead Point. Okay, so Arrowhead Point is up at the very top of Blackcomb, up at the top of Painted Cliff. So you might have seen uh, the Blackcomb Spring Suites, which is up there. It's the ski and ski out uh, hotel that's right on the ski slope. Well, this is just right tucked in behind in the cul-de-sac of uh of that same street so it's uh basically ski in ski out you just walk across the cul-de-sac and you're on the ski slope there so this is a three bed two bath arrowhead point and uh, this is in the section of the complex it's on the lower section facing the forest so it's still got some some views but um it's sort of a, a bit of a forested zone there I'm going to take you through the photos. Actually, I'm, I'm wrong. This is in the upper building. So that would be looking out towards, uh, you get a bit, a bit of a better view because this is on the uphill slope. So it's an elevated position. So it looks like they, they had done some renovations here. Um, at some point, this granite looks like it's about a 10 or a 15 year old granite style. So there you go. That's the view of um, uh, Sprout Mountain in the distance. Okay, so that is our tour of the top three this week. If you have any questions, we'd like to take a look at any properties in Whistler, you can certainly reach out to me at the contact details below. Thanks. We'll catch you in the next video.